Hello everyone. Hey guys. Hey guys. We are at Mili Samani International School. In grade 12 at the Boone School. Project. We started off as a group by looking at different methods of waste management. So the topic we've chosen as a group is uh, compaction or compression as an efficient method of waste management. The water treatment system in Nadu Kupam. How does the industrial pollutant in sulfur dioxide, also known as SO2, adversely affect the environment and what can we do to mitigate it? Our broad topic for our group was plasma gasification. Uh, the efficiency of a catalytic converter of a tractor. My group is studying waste disposal and its impact on the society. How does water pollution affect BOD, aquatic life? and the overall food chain. So what is plasma gasification? You see, sewage so generation is 60% and landfills is 55%. That's it increases the production of inflammatory cell proteins, which is cytokines and chemokine process. Exactly. Average catalytic converter is over a period of time. We know that the, with time, the physics. We constructed a process data table and we graphed the points where. Each of these five impurities have different types of different water to SO3. The process is stoked and in the intermediate absorption stage. And then nanoparticle catalytic converters rate of reduce rate of. It's represented by the yellow bars on the graph. The entirety of combustion of plastic and paper is the hydrogen. Are filled with contaminated. Particulates. Our control variable is the mass and the states of matter or the waste material. The victims are trapped in the air for long periods of time. And plants require nitrogen. They make the process experience a cost which causes them to accelerate in the opposite direction. Uh, the ratio between 200 watts per thousand PFM to 100 watts per thousand PFM is 2. Yeah. That it is agricultural industry that accounts for major percentage of chemical waste in our world today. Okay. The next was to calculate the amount of carbon monoxide and stuff for alcohol filtration and it's being compared to a few papers. And the same data has been showcased in the form of a graph. Project that it would be done entirely online. The testimony of the determination and the commitment that just enriches science to a whole other level. The IB, but it's a lifelong collaboration done digitally and historic. The scientific temperament they took up this challenge um, definitely is a big learning experience for teachers and students alike.